In this video Kent Hovind gives us his ideas about the Triceratops and I'm going to point out a few problems I have with his ideas. And lizards got huge. Did you know reptiles grow all their life? They never stop growing? I think before the flood, when people lived to be 900, the reptiles would get to be really big. Really big. <laughs> I think dinosaurs were big lizards that lived with Adam and Eve. The word dinosaur means terrible lizard. And that would be a terrible lizard if it's about 80 feet long. <laughs> you can buy these at the pet store today. It's called a Jackson chameleon. It's got three horns on his face. I bet something similar to that. If you let it live 900 years, it'd get to be a triceratops. Hmm? Kent, just because the name dinosaur means terrible lizard does not make dinosaurs lizards. The name Basilosaurus means king lizard, but they were not lizards. The name Pterosaur means winged lizard, but they were not lizards. The name Ichthyosaur means fish lizard, but they were not lizards. The name Phytosaur means plant lizard, but they were not lizards. There really were giant lizards that lived during the Cretaceous period. They were called Mosasaurs. Mosasaurs were giant aquatic lizards and we have transitional fossils linking them to terrestrial lizards. One major problem I have with Hovind's idea that dinosaurs were simply large lizards is that dinosaurs have many anatomical features which clearly distinguish them from lizards. Lizards are classified in the group Lapidosauria which includes lizard snakes and tuataras. Dinosaurs are classified in the group Archosauria whose modern representatives include birds and crocodiles and which used to include non-avian dinosaurs and pterosaurs. Archosaurs have several distinguishing characteristics such as having teeth set in sockets and two new openings in the skull. Dinosaurs are divided into two main groups based on the structure of their pelvis. Triceratops is included in the group Ornithischia which are also distinguished by the presence of a lower jawbone called the predentary. One of the subgroups of Ornithischia is Ceratopsia which includes Triceratops. Ceratopsians have a unique bone called the rostral bone on the tip of their upper jaw. All these features and more clearly distinguish Triceratops from the Jackson chameleon and clearly show they are not the same animal. The second problem I have with Hovind's idea is that we have found both young and adult dinosaurs from the same species and we have even found dinosaur eggs containing fossil embryos. This clearly shows that at no stage were they lizards. We have even found baby specimens of Triceratops. The skull of one of these specimens was only 30 centimeters long with horns only 35 millimeters long. This evidence clearly shows that Triceratops and the Jackson chameleon are not the same animal. The third problem I have with Hovind's idea is that the fossil record clearly shows that Triceratops is closely related to other dinosaurs. The group Ceratopsia alone contains dozens of genera and we are still finding new ones. Yinlong is the oldest Ceratopsion and shows that they are closely related to Pachycephalosaurus. Although I seriously doubt it, I hope this video will help Kent be able to tell the difference between a lizard and a dinosaur in the future. 